Ayibiyo, ayibiyibiya, ayibiyo, ayibiyibiya. Choose my ketela. Uya babona na we ba ningi. Enge tina sistogo. Out John Vuligate. Look, if you haven't heard the song and haven't seen the challenges on social media, I'd suggest you do yourself a favor with your daughter and go check the John Vulike challenge. Mm, it's on fire. But before you do that, I do have some red hot news for you today. The topics that we'll be discussing are on screen right now and the timestamps are in the description down below. Now, before we get into the video, if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button, hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. With that said, hello and welcome to Red Live. Our first topic, Rasta strikes again with a portrait of Leanne Manis. So Rasta the artist has found himself yet again on the trending list after his most recent portrait of SAPC Morning Live presenter Leanne Manis. Now yesterday was Leanne Manis' birthday and Rasta gifted her with a painting which many on social media felt looks nothing like the image it is based upon. Now Rasta posted the following image and captioned it happy birthday at Leanne Manis at Morning Live SAPC hope you enjoyed. Now I'm sure a lot of celebrities were under the impression that they'll probably be painted by Urasta once they have left the earth and of course once you're gone and departed you don't have to really worry about how the portrait of you really looks like but now it seems like Rasta has kind of flipped that script and is now painting celebrities on their birthday what a shocking birthday surprise I'd say I will say this you know credit to Leanne Manis she actually thanked Rasta on social media she wrote the following thank you so much Rasta I really enjoyed my birthday who's the lady in the picture she's got a very unique look love your work sir Look, I will say this, I love the sarcasm in that tweet. I love that she's got some banter and that, you know what, she's not really taking it the wrong way. She's playing along and in this case, we would say that, you know what, Leanne was definitely a great sport. But yeah, for those that want to know how exactly it started, it started off with this picture, we would assume, and how it's going, it ended up with this picture, which a lot of people on social media say that they could barely recognize that it was Leanne on the picture. So do comment down below and let me know what you guys thought about Russia this latest painting i will say this on a side note you know rasta is one of those artists that i feel like you can't get him down he's gonna continue painting no matter what we say so i would i'm just curious you know if rasta could kind of borrow me his eyes for a day and i could see his like the world with his abstract eyes i'd be i'd be really interested in that our next topic shane eagle shows off his package so rapper Shane Eagle has Twitter users breathing heavily after he showed off his package in a recent picture he shared on his social media account. Now the rapper took a picture of himself standing in front of the mirror holding his 4-5 through his pants. Now he captioned that image Synergy which is the name of his upcoming album that is set to drop tomorrow on Friday. Now I did see that it is apparently an exclusive Apple iTunes thingy that's gonna be on the iTunes store or something like us uh, YouTube music users or Spotify spotify users we are out of luck but anyways back to the picture as you can see on the actual picture itself it is written mamba mentality look i for one kind of get it you know he's got an album that is dropping this friday he's trying to create some buzz i mean at the end of the day the man was uh, was trending on social media and i suppose those that didn't even know that he was going to have an album out tomorrow they might know about it now so i suppose in this instance you know any publicity is good publicity there's no such thing as bad publicity publicity is publicity at the end of the day however it does seem that one user one user in particular that i do want to focus on who wasn't really feeling the picture is none other than one of my personal favorite celebrities Michali Damase. Now she wrote in reply to Shane Eagle's post, I wish men would respect their bodies more. Your body is the temple of the Lord. You were created in his image. What kind of examples are you setting for your young audience? Don't let fame change you Shane. Remain humble. You won't find a wife with such low morals. Michali went on to write, this behavior makes me question if Shane really makes his money from music or it's just cloud for posting his mamba i'm so disappointed i used to be such a huge fan but now i question him being a good role model for my future sons i can't have my kids look up to such 
Look, personally, I will say this, you know, Mamba pictures aside, if the music is good, the music will still be good. Now, the rest of it, you know, the morals, the examples and all of those things, you know, I personally am not like the most greatest of examples, so I can't really talk on that. But like I said earlier on, a man's got to do what he's got to do to trend and get his album some traction. But yeah, do comment down below and let me know what you guys thought about Shane Eagle's picture of his Mamba. Our next topic, fans worried about Babes or Dumo's weight loss. Bomb musician Babes Odumo's weight loss has left a lot of her fans on social media a little bit concerned. Now there is a picture of Babes Odumo that is doing the rounds on social media where she is sitting with Udlajam Shungisi and DJ Socks. Now a Twitter user posted the picture and captioned it, what's happening to Babes Odumo? With a what I'd assume is a worried emoji and a heartbroken emoji. Now as you can see in the picture right there, first of all I'd like to ask why is DJ Socks's hand? where it is that is what i'm more kind of curious about but i will say this you know when it comes to the weight and everything babes or dumo is fully close she's wearing a whole track suit you can't really see how big she is and uh let us not kind of uh let us not brush over the elephant in the room and that is Ujlanda is sitting right next to her. I mean, let's be honest, people. I personally think I'm like a normal weight size type of person. If I was to sit next to Ujlanda, I'd probably look skinny too. People will come up to me and be like, Red Live, what happened to you, man? You used to be so big. Look at you all skinny and stuff. But jokes aside, yes, indeed, she does look a little bit smaller. I mean, even looking at other pictures that she has posted on social media. For those that don't know, Babes What Dumo is back on social media. Well, she's back on Instagram. I'm not really sure about twitter i don't really follow her on twitter that much but i do follow her on instagram and she's been back on instagram and posting pictures now she's not like dramatically skinnier or just way smaller she just she looks good personally in my eyes and at the end of the day you know how people do on the social media streets when you gain a little bit weight they ask you if you're pregnant when you lose a couple of kilograms they are asking if uh you know other things are happening to you now one user in the comment section of that tweet actually did come to babes Dumo's defense and wrote nothing she is going through the struggles of life she took a wrong path she is finding herself at this moment she probably needs an ear to listen a shoulder to cry on and some love well that is deep but moving on from that another user pointed out on social media exactly how much people really love to talk regardless of the situation the user wrote if she gains weight y'all talk when she loses weight y'all still talk why are you so obsessed with other people's bodies if you truly concerned about babes dm her and send her some love which i will say i 100 percent agree with what that user wrote right there and also on the topic of weight i do recall that her boyfriend mampincha had a similar weight loss and he was the talk of the town you know people were kind of coming up with their own theories as to what happened to mampincha i'd assume that whatever mampincha did to lose his weight he kind of passed on that knowledge to babes or dumo and like i said earlier you know it's not like babes or dumo has just went from uh, 80 kilograms too. and i suppose there's absolutely nothing wrong with losing a few kilos in the pursuit of being a little bit healthier but yeah do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about that picture of babes or dumo are you guys concerned do you guys feel like she's lost a lot of weight and just like that we have reached the end of the red hot news if you enjoyed the video you know what to do by now give it a huge thumbs up share it with your family your friends and your enemies confuse the hell out of everybody and as always thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to red live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.